Well, as you can see, vaccine distribution is on the rise, but that's not stopping concern from growing amid the White House's COVID response team. They are worried about new variants of the virus. CBS 4's Madeline Rivera has more from Capitol Hill, where Congress is still debating the president's coronavirus plans. They will get a state of the pandemic. Up. President Dr. Biden's Lynch. top health officials say that Dr. even though coronavirus cases are falling, now is not the time to become complacent about the virus. The goal is not to sort of open up travel, open up all of you know, things because um, people, you know, we're, we're scaling up vaccination. The goal in those first 100 days um, has always been to sort of make sure that we are in a place to be out of this pandemic. And they say that even with the approval of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, there is still a lot of work to do to make sure every American can get a shot. We're focused on execution, and that includes the important work of ensuring that we continue to increase overall vaccine supply increase the number of vaccinators, and increase the number of places Americans can get vaccinated. More money to help ramp up vaccine distribution is just one part of President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the Senate will vote on the bill this week. I expect a hearty debate and some late nights, but the American people sent us here with a job to do to help the country through this moment of extraordinary challenge. But Republicans say they won't support the plan because it's too expensive. Democrats have chosen to go a completely partisan route. Even famous liberal economists and liberal editorial boards are saying their half-baked plan is poorly targeted to what families need. Democrats have abandoned a plan to increase the minimum wage by taxing corporations that don't pay their employees at least $15 an hour. Malin Avera, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Democratic aides working on the legislation say that adding the corporate tax proposal will take too long. They're hoping to bring the COVID relief plan to the floor for a vote on Wednesday or Thursday so that President Biden can sign it into law by March the 14th when expanded unemployment benefits expire.